Hello, hello, hello to all of my Libras. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your Friday motivation. Hopefully you all are creating space for a great day today. Let's get right into your reading. And also happy last quarter moon in Capricorn. Yes, let's get into your reading. Some cards have already flown out of the deck. We have the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Very nice. Very, very nice. Emotionally, somebody's going to feel like they hit the jackpot. Because of wish fulfillment, somebody has gone somewhere and sat down somewhere and really um, balanced out your own energy. You are the givers by default, but you're doing something that you really love to do. Again, your energy is balanced out. And guess who's benefiting from it? Every single person around you, Libra. I love it, love it, love it. If you're in a romantic relationship, the person, your, your love interest is benefiting from you balancing out your own energy. Because the lover's card is really about balancing out your own energy first and foremost. Embracing all sides of yourselves. Here we have the magician card, which is attached to Mercury. Yes, Mercury is the messenger planet. Mercury is the messenger planet. And it is the planet. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's it's it governs how you communicate, right? So somebody has really been speaking into some ex speaking into existence some of the things that they want based on their intuition. This high priestess card is attached to the moon, so your feelings are quite intense. Um, the moon is aligned to our feelings, our subconscious habits, moods, emotions, our intuition, our instincts, right? And so things are coming back around for you full circle. So basically, the world is really at your feet. Really, I mean. Right now, your primary, the, the world card is attached to Saturn, which is Capricorn's ruling planet, right? It's Capricorn and is one of Aquarius's ruling planet. But we have a, we're now currently today, as of today, it starts today, in the last quarter moon of Capricorn, okay? So right now, you're focusing on what energy leaks. What, what's it leaking your energy? Are you distracted by this person saying something or this person did something to you in the past or what? will recognize that it's if you if you are and I see that you're not I see that you, your intuition is so heightened you already know what to focus on you have so many wonderful things in the work you can really just speak whatever it is you want into existence uh Libra and boom it's going to appear because you know how to balance out your own energy so again water has been doing you quite good so don't forget to take a swim <laughs> take a dip in the water and start making your wishes right being out in the air, the sun, all four elements, the earth. So I see somebody on the beach, like this energy right here is on the beach. See this little sailboat in the background? Somebody's on the beach, beach a lake. Somebody's dipping in the water. Again, replenishing those emotions that you poured out and making your wish. You know how you've heard wish on a star? You're wishing on, and the sun is a star, right? So yeah, that's what I'm seeing somebody do, like, throat chakra is wide open wide open so yeah somebody came out of a really challenging situation um but you're at the end of that cycle and you are enlightened so what did you learn about yourself right you learned about you i'm gonna give you the answer now what you learn about yourself and what works for you and what doesn't work for you and if you're around drama and that doesn't work for you you could have been burned by uh you could have been burned by an aries leo or sagittarius we're not talking about the high vibrating one um we're talking about some somebody that's low vibrating right or some bodies some people who are low vibrating that really just caused disappointment for you here we have the five of cups but not anymore you just learn it doesn't matter what a person's sign is if they're leaking your energy it's time to move on from them, right? So that you can get up from this place because energy leaks will have you depleted, have you depressed, have you pessimistic, have you indecisive, have you unreliable, superficial, very manipulative, just lazy because you just drained emotionally, right? See how this person is drained emotionally? Yeah. Looking at it like, you know what? I tried to have a relationship with that person, but I can just see they just they they on something else. So let me focus on replenishing my own energy and expecting greater things to come. Here we have somebody's foot is firmly planted, but they have their other foot up. This person is they're on fire and they're expecting great things. So that's what I'm saying. Create space for only a great day every single day, Libra, and expect great things to happen to come your way, right? This lover's card is attached to Gemini. The magician card, like I said, is attached to Mercury, which is um Gemini's ruling planet, Gemini and Virgo's ruling planet. 
Um, your intuition is extremely high, which is attached to the moon. And we have the world card, which is attached to Saturn. We also have the fool card. So somebody may have felt, felt like a fool in the past, but not now. You're ready to take some risk, not in a reckless way, not at all, Libra. But you're, you're actually looking forward to say, you know what, I'm taking a risk. I'm excited about life. You know, it may like, look like I'm living on the edge right now. But I'm feeling great. See how this person has the amethyst in their hand? It's shaped a little differently than my piece of amethyst here. But this gives you a God level of clarity. And also, it that's, that resonates with your crown chakra. This resonates with your crown chakra, right? Somebody is even wearing yellow, feeling sunnier. Somebody's focusing on their healing. So, you know, colors, um, colors are very important as well. I'm seeing tons of opportunities to meet new people coming your way. New soul tribes, meaning new friends. I know people, you know, I've heard people write songs about no new friends and that kind of thing. But it's always nice to have, you know, create a definition of what a friend is. Not from the dictionary's definition, because you already know what an enemy looks like. So now it's time to create your definition of a friend. Like basically who you feel that you can be yourself with. A safe space, right? And if they're not friends, acquaintances. You don't want to have, you don't want to focus on you know, your enemies. But again, here we have how you used to do things in the past how you're versus how you're doing things now. See how this person is not even looking back at their past. They may be thinking about it, but they're not going backwards. This windows of opportunity for you is grand. And then we have you going like doing a lot of traveling all around the world. Love it, love it, love it. Then we have the um, page of swords, right? This is you still impeccably dressed, but there was a lot of anxiety there. Imagine a person going from this part of their life to this part of their life, and you're coming to the end of a challenging relationship, but walking on a tightrope and not knowing if you happen to fall, how far down you're going to fall. But you've been staying focused, like really, really staying focused. So to the outside world, somebody was looking pretty confident. Yeah, looking really, really confident and, and self-assured. But inside, there was a lot of anxiety. Oh, my God. You know, I feel like at any moment I may say or do something that's going to cause me to break down and cry. I don't think I have any more tears to cry, right? So that water, like I said, being in a body of water or near a body of water, believe it or not, even just running water in your house is, yeah, here we have the six of pentacles. I see somebody receiving money. Yeah, I see somebody receiving money. You're about to give birth to nor money. So that money can come in a form of child support. That money can come in a form of, you know, your brand really taking off and doing very, very well. Um, like I said, you have tons of opportunities coming your way. So I do see more money coming across. Again, that is the pentacles cards, the six of pentacles. Yeah. You've been giving out so much. You now it's time for you to be in receiving mode. And what you'll be receiving is new friends or at least new people that's coming across your path, new opportunities to, you know, continue building your brand. So that way you you can be very clear about what, what it is leaks your energy versus what doesn't leak your energy. Here we have, I do not control my mind. I am an observer of my ma my mind and my thoughts. There you go. And then we have... When you are tempted to control your mind, stand back and realize that the task is impossible to begin with. Even the most disciplined mind has a way of breaking out of its chains. Yes. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. All right. So then what else do we have here? Let's get a moonology card going. Let's get a moonology card going. Your hard work is paying off. Like I said, Capricorn is not a new moon in Capricorn. It's actually the last quarter moon in Capricorn. But somebody has been really, really working hard. So now you know what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Again, if, if, if you get around some energy, you all are very smart sign. All air signs are Libra. If you get around somebody and all of a sudden you feel drained, you better pay attention. You better pay attention so you don't have to live on a beach and live in a body of water when all you have to do is take action and start getting as far away from energy leaks as possible. All right. Here we have family. OMG. Well, I mean, it could be some people in your family that's causing some energy leaks, but... You know, this is why you have an opportunity to create your family through meeting new soul tribes and entertaining new energies coming across your path. But if your family 
if you're in a close-knit family and they're offering support and they are not leaking your energy, they're just a source of just refilling your energy with good positive vibration or energy, that's who you want to be around. That is what I have for you, Libras. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.